Game Maker, how to draw global variables to the screen. You make a game, you want to show the user things like points and score and lives and number of ghosts they've destroyed and all those other things, right? In this video, we're going to do keys collected uh, so they know how many keys they've collected to unlock the locks. Let's show you what we've got set up here. I've got this object up here called global. And this global object is just going to make my variable for me. That's going to be a variable to keep track of the number of keys that I have. And, and then I'm going to use this object. Nope. I'm going to use another object. I'll just put it in the room right now called draw. And I'm going to make that one responsible for doing all my drawing. If you keep it set up like that, it can actually keep it quite organized for you. So here I go. Here's my global object. Let's quickly make a global variable to keep track of the keys. So here I'll go global dot key count is zero. Okay, set the user up with zero keys. Now you want to actually see how you draw this variable out. So let's pop to the draw object now. And draw events only work in the, I shouldn't say that, draw methods only work inside of the draw event. If you try putting any of the draw commands I use here inside any of these other events, it's not going to draw. Okay, so draw event, draw. By default setting, it's sort of like the step event. The draw is going to happen 30 times a second and keep drawing, 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 drawing over and over, right? So be careful what you put in here that it's not uh, too tricky of code and just does what you need to be done. All right, the code inside of draw. Drawing global variables is generally uh, pretty easy. Here's usually the first step. If you're switching colors around a lot, you should pick a color that you like on your background. So here I'll go switch to black. And now here comes the actual useful method for drawing text, which is draw text. And you'll see here at the bottom of the screen it wants two parameters. Sorry, it wants three parameters, x, y, and some stuff to draw. So let's give it a nice simple, I'll give it x of 50. I'll put it at a y of 20, which is near the top of the screen. And let's write keys. Now when you draw text, put quotation marks around it. And if you're only drawing text, you could actually just do this. But obviously that's not going to draw my variable out. That's just going to draw the word keys out. If you want to tag on a variable at any point, you can just go plus. And uh, you'd think you could just do this, global.keyCount. But if you actually give that a run, uh, you may encounter that you get an error. So let's see what happens. And you'll see here, it says a little execution error. And it says somewhere on this line, doesn't like it. Here's what it doesn't like. So let's get out of here. This is a number, and it's a variable. When you draw stuff out, it has to be a variable type string, which basically means characters. So even though this may be the number zero, what it really wants is it really wants this. It wants quotation zero. And you're going, well, what's the difference? Well, there's a difference to the uh, program. Now, how do you get it to be quotation zero? Use this quick method, string, and you give it key count. So this right here will convert a number into text or characters for you. And so that's printable. So when we give this a go now, we should be error free. And they're up in the screen, keys, zero. Not bad. Now, what other uh, simple beginner things do people do with their drawing? Um, you'll see them sometimes do stuff like a little bit of a color change here. So let's say I go for yellow. Yellow's not that great. Let's switch to blue. But how about before we draw our text, we draw a rectangle. So you can go set color C black, draw rectangle. There's a little video on drawing rectangles if you can find it. Basically, you just give it the upper corner. So let's do that. Top corner, X is zero. 
uh, the y value of the upper left corner, 0. And let's go uh, pretty well across the screen. I haven't memorized how big my screen is, but let's just do this. Let's go an x of 300 and a y of 40. And the very last thing here says outline, true or false. I want no false. It's not an outline. Just do a black solid rectangle there for me. Then on top of it, I'm going to be writing the blue global variable. Let's give us a run. And you'll see there it's ugly, but it gives you the idea of what you can do, right? You're not limited to uh, just drawing the black text. You can try to get clever, put a whole bunch of draw commands, you know, in the correct order, and draw your stuff, stuff out fancy onto the screen. So that's drawing global variables. Uh, check out the other video that's going to come up next, which is drawing out instance variables. Thanks for watching.